Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this small DM to DF reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. So I'm going to be using this beautiful deck that Goody created to get the messages from the Divine Musclin's true self. This bright beautiful orange deck and you know there's some beautiful powerful messages that Goody's created and beautiful pictures as well so let's see what's coming through i will use some other decks as well for the communication so what is it your divine masculine would love to share and express from their true self right now in this moment of this reading what is it they want you to know nice clear message please let's see this beautiful dog look in my heart i am loyal to you yeah so you could be seeing a lot of dogs at the moment or hear dogs barking and that is just showing you that your divine masculine is so loyal to you and i know at times it feels as if they're not the truth is they are they, they can't feel the way they feel about you about anybody else even if there are other people involved they're still being loyal to you um and i know that's really difficult at times to actually believe divine feminines because of their actions but that is the truth and you know that when you're in your truth their heart is always loyal and purify your mind it will purify mine yeah <laughs> so that's very very powerful so don't allow your mind your ego to rule you don't come from a place of ego always come from your place of being in your heart space from the place of unconditional love, the unconditional love that you are. And when you're purifying when your mind and being aware, taking responsibility of what goes on in your head and finding that black balance with your higher self and your ego, you're doing that for your divine masculine because you're one. And all your actions and um, your thoughts um, do create you to feel and this journey is about feeling. So if you're having bad thoughts and, you know, you're believing the chatter, the, the nonsense, the fear, the doubt, that feeling does radiate out into the universe and your divine masculine can feel that because you're one soul. You're one soul in two physical bodies and at the bottom of the deck is... You are a gift of God to me, yeah. So awareness coming through from the Divine Masculine so that they know exactly who you are and they see you as this beautiful gift from God. So that, they, again, they're having this relationship with higher power. This connection is so strong. Um, and, you know, it's showing that the Divine Masculines are remaining more and more in their truth. So this is very, very beautiful message purify your mind so i can purify mine yeah hmm. and i'm going to use next the divine masculine honesty and realizations from beautiful sandra from world illuminator 11 11 to see what else is coming through so watch what's going on and this relationship does not work coming from ego from your mind <laughs> everything it has to be stripped away about you making your way home and going back to your original soul blueprint and that process from the ego perspective is very painful because the ego is dying so um you are gonna make it back home and to your original soul blueprint at times we never think that we are going to get there but you are so questioning i'm beginning to question a lot of my beliefs the things that i was taught and many of the things that i consider to be my truth for a very long time so they're questioning everything they're not believing the nonsense that they've believed about themselves and about life about this relationship anymore they're questioning in, in, in everything so they are awake and reunion yeah a reunion is inevitable. It is only a matter of time. See you soon, my love. Yeah, see you soon, my love. We're going to have this reunion. We're coming together. And when this is getting closer and closer every single day. 
and at the bottom of the deck is numbers. They're seeing numbers. I've noticed that I keep seeing numbers that seem to follow me around, such as 1111, 333, 444 and 555. I'm starting to think that they are trying to tell me something. Uh, so they're seeing the numbers just the same as you and awake to these numbers as well, like I said, because they know that they mean something. And they could be actually looking these numbers up to see, you know, get more information. Um, and they wonder and they think, I wonder if my Divine Feminine, <laughs> is this happening to my Divine Feminine? But this reunion is happening. They know it's happening. They've been honest about this. They're working through things and what they're working through, whatever that involves, their heart is always loyal to you. So next I'm going to be using the silence deck from beautiful Liz from Guided by Angels. Just get two messages and then I'm going to go to the Divine Masculine Message Tarot to see what else is coming through. So what is it your Divine Masculine would love to show and express to you right now in this moment of this reading? Are you listening? I'm watching. I'm feeling overwhelmed by the desire and passion I have for you. So they're feeling very overwhelmed. This passion, this desire is getting more intense, more stronger. Because they're being real. Because they're allowing themselves to feel. Because you're purifying your mind. You are moving away and stepping away from the ego and coming from the place of love. Being the love that you are. And the, the, as I said, the more that you do that, the more the divine masculines are. And this is why it gets more intense, because you're making your way home. Because you feel safe feeling this love, allowing yourself to feel this love. Because you trust and know that it isn't going to be taken away from you. Because you're dealing with yourself and your divine masculine is you in another physical body. You inspire me to change my life. Yeah, so you, you do give them the confidence and you inspire them to change their life to how it works for them, to actually go for their dreams and desires. And they know that you are the one person that actually believes in them. <sighs> Just by the way you look at them, the way, what you, how you are with your divine masculine. And I'm not ignoring you, I'm working out what to say, yeah. I'm working out what to say to you because I want this reunion. I want to show you that my heart is loyal to you. So keep purifying your mind because it's supporting and helping me so much. And keep shining your light because it's inspiring me to change and to face things that I've never wanted to face before because I was too scared. And I'm feeling this passion and desire for you. So I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Message Tarot from Beautiful Liz now. What else is it that you're... Divine, right, that one flipped out onto the carpet. So the Emperor, yeah, there. I'm becoming who I was born to be, yeah. I'm becoming who I was meant to be. I'm making my way back home. I'm in my power. So Ace of Cups, come on, guys. I'm ready to begin again. And we've got Six of Pentacles as well. I need to be able to give you everything that you give to me. So this is about balance. They know that things were out of balance before. And they know that, you know, it's time for them to give to you. But they have been learning to give to themselves first. <sighs> They've been working on themselves. And that's why they're ready now. They're ready to be the person they were born to be. The love that they are. And this is creating so much power for your Divine Masculine. And the Ace of Cups, they're full of love and they're ready to begin again, to start all over again from a place of love, not from a place of fear and to a want. So I have a vision of what I want and I'm holding that vision. I'm not allowing my ego to step in the way anymore. So this is beautiful energy and beautiful messages from your Divine Masculine's true self of what they want you to know. I really do hope it resonates with you and I really do hope that it helps you understand what goes on with your Divine Masculine and more about the Twin Flame journey. And if you'd like any extra support on your Twin Flame journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support 
my strength and light and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, what's your soul saying?